To support the learning process, teachers must have a strong grasp of their subject area. But knowledge isn't the only factor that makes a teacher effective. Last week, I visited Green Magnet Academy, where I was inspired to see teachers demonstrate creativity, enthusiasm, and the ability to help students get excited about learning. In a kindergarten classroom, students took turns at the front of the class leading a lesson about vowel sounds and how they are used in words. In a third grade classroom, students analyzed the area of shapes and provided strategic feedback to each other. And in the design lab, students worked on a hands-on project that required collaboration and teamwork. This kind of dynamic learning process isn't an accident. Principal Jessica Holman and her team have worked hard to promote a school culture in which every student is growing academically and socially. In addition to the early literacy focus and efforts to reduce chronic absenteeism, Green Magnet last year received the prestigious STEM school designation from the Tennessee Department of Education. I'm proud of their efforts and look forward to seeing even more success in the future. The work of our teachers and staff is so important, but as I've stated before, education is a community effort. I had the pleasure of attending the Knoxville Area Urban League's annual membership luncheon this week and to hear the vision set forth by its new president and CEO, Dr. Charles Lomax. I was excited about Dr. Lomax's commitment to education and encouraged that his plans are aligned to our district priority of college and career empowerment, including providing every student the opportunity to attend college or trade school with a goal of reaching 70% by 2024. It is partnerships like these that will help all of us lift up our schools, our families, and our community to ensure success for every student. Finally, I would like to highlight an opportunity for our community to provide feedback. The KCS Finance Department is working hard to develop a spending plan for next year, and we recently created a survey seeking input about funding priorities. Please consider visiting knockschoolsorg budget to provide us with guidance about how to best use our financial resources. Don't forget that Monday, February 20th is an in-service day and students will not be in class. Thank you to Vine Middle School for hosting this week's message. And as always, thank you for supporting Knox County Schools.